good morning from Universal's Cabana Bay. We're heading out to Universal Studios Orlando. It's still about 8.20 in the morning. We're gonna try to do the early, early park opening because they allow hotel guests in one hour before opening, but I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> park opens at nine and it's 8.20. So I'm heard it's at eight, eight to nine. Eight to nine, it's yeah. We're already past that. I know, it's past that. We can still get in before nine though. That's what I'm saying. Yes. We are going to be taking the Universal Orlando Resort buses that will be taking us to the theme parks because we're not walking this morning. We want to get there as quickly as possible because we still have a little bit of time before the park opens. We had to stop at Starbucks before we go into the park because, you know, we just need some Starbucks, right? We do. I need Starbucks. He needs some coffee in his life. Uh, although I have more energy today than yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday we, was a song. we got a good night's sleep. And I'll set the walking dead. We have made it finally. We made it. He's eating his breakfast. There's an iconic, legendary Universal Ball. It's about 8.50. We still got a little time before 9 o'clock, so we're still allowed into the park before non-resort guests are allowed in. We're gonna take advantage, even if it is just 10 minutes, right? And the day is beautiful, which actually the day started out pretty foggy, but it's beautiful now. And that's all that matters. And we are in, we just made it in past the turnstiles. Can you believe we're here? I can't, it's been a while. It has been a long time since we've been to Universal Orlando. I don't think I've, it was for well, Christmas. I keep saying I don't think I've vlogged this, but I definitely have. It was for Christmas. Yeah, I was during Christmas time, and it's just been so long ago that I totally forgot. But um, it's so pretty out. Yeah, let's go that way. So should we go towards like Harry Potter stuff? Yeah, let's go there first. All right. Yeah, that's the, always the longest. Yeah, Harry Potter stuff is always the longest. Oh, you know this used to be an I Love Lucy store, but now it's Hello Kitty. Oh wait, that one right there used to be the I Love Lucy store. That one right there. The Betty Boop story. I know. Oh. You can't love her forever. I do. I I love Lucy. I love forever. Lucy. So we're entering into the Beverly Hills section of the park. We're gonna have to go to the London section of the park because that's where yeah. Harry Potter is. All right, so we are coming up to the UK section, the London section of Universal Studios. King's Cross Station, it's right there. But why does it say Leicester Square Station? Hmm. Leicester? Yeah, that's, what it, that's how you pronounce it. Leicester or Leicester? I think it's pronounced Leicester. Let me know in the comments down below, UK people. I think it's Leicester. Hey, look, it's a three-floor thing. All right, is this Diagon Alley? Yes, this is Diagon Alley, everyone. All right, haven't been here in so long. Ready to go into Diagon Alley? All right, they didn't Ooh, Diagon Alley. So exciting. Yeah, it is getting a little warm. That was genuine. Yes, we're here. We've made it through the walls to the magical Diagon Alley. Escape from Gringotts it is. It's a 25 minute wait currently. All right, so we are currently in Gringotts Bank. The line doesn't seem to be too long. The annoying part was having to stow your- The locker. The yeah. locker room. We had to stow all of our bags inside of the lockers, which took forever. Look at these guys, they look so realistic. That was um, fun and scary. So these are the lockers we were telling you guys about. So you gotta stow all of your belongings in these little lockers. Yours are uh, these are yours, these are mine. <laughs> they look the exact same. And you gotta scan a paper ticket there. But we didn't have a paper ticket. Well now we do. Oh, they give you a They give you one, yeah. Oh, it is much busier here than um, it was a little while ago. All right, so what's the plan next? I know eventually we are gonna have to get some Butterbeer ice cream and some actual butterbeer, right? Right. Um, the ice cream first? I think no, no. I don't want it. Inside. I don't want it yet. It's still early. It's only 9:38. Perfect time. Perfect, perfect time for ice cream. Yeah, you want ice cream all the time. There's no line in the ice cream pile. Oh my goodness. Well, you can have ice cream now if you want. Do you want it now or do you want to wait? No, we can wait. Hey, if you guys want to buy some potions, you have to come here to Borgen and Burks. 
It's a dark oh, alley. Dark it's Nocturne Alley. This is where all the dark wizards come, right? Yeah, and it gets really dark in here. It so. gets really dark, so I might not be able to catch a lot of the uh, filming in here. I won't be able to film in here because it's so dark. Oh look. Oh look. Wanted. Bellatrix the Strange. And it moves. It's a moving wanted poster. Do you feel like you're in a Harry Potter movie right now? I do, I always do. And that's why I love it. You really do feel like you're there. Yeah, being here is like so immersive. Oh look, and you can have a magic wand and you can like perform tricks and spells on certain places. Alright, so we are in is this Borgen and Burks? Borgen and Burks. So it's like the one of like the dark nocturne alley uh, shops. Is it for like the dark wizards? Yes. I don't really remember, I haven't seen the movie in a while. Yeah. Where Draco was going to get something specific. So this is where you get like all the stuff for bad magic? Yeah, and then Harry was um, following him and hiding. So this right here is a really good shot of Diagon Alley because you can see the Green God Bank and then you can see the uh, dragon. So yeah, this is a really good shot right here. Actually, I think that this is the best entrance to Diagon Alley right here. It is. We should have come in through here. Because then we would have been coming in through the brick wall like he did in the movie. Alright, so we just walked out of Diagon Alley and this is King's Cross Station. So if you want to get to the other park, and you want to take the Hogwarts Express, you're actually going to go in through here to catch the Hogwarts Express, and it'll take you to Islands of Adventure and to the Harry Potter section of Islands of Adventure Park. We are inside of the King's Cross Station, and we're about to show them our park tickets to be able to hop on, because you have to have a two-day park, no, I'm sorry, you have to have a two-park park ticket, ticket yes. to be able to go to the other park. Otherwise, you won't be able to ride this attraction. We're about to catch the Hogwarts Express. This is so realistic, though. It's cold, just like London. I know it is. So you really do need a jacket here. Yeah, you really do need a jacket. I feel like we're gonna go on a trip. We're going on vacation. I don't know, right? We kind of are, but... Oh yeah, this is that place where you get to go through the wall. This is platform nine and three quarters. Yes, I gotta go first. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, John's about to go through the platform nine and three quarters. That's not him, that's not him. There he is. Platform nine and three quarters. Here we go. How did it feel to go through platform nine and three quarters? Like magic. Like magic, right? Yeah, we caught you doing it. And then here we are. We're about to catch the Hogwarts Express, which it's not here yet. It hasn't arrived yet. But it should be here shortly. A few moments later. It's here, it's here. It's arriving, it's arriving. The Hogwarts Express is arriving. It has just come from Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade Station. Yes. Yes, and now we're gonna take it over there. So now we're going to the magical land of Hogsmeade. The magical land of Hogsmeade. All right, it's time for us to board the Hogwarts Express. So we're in room number seven. Thank you. A is an Azkaban. Ooh. Are we here? We're here. Which way do we go? This way? And here we are. Thank you. We made it all the way here. To Hogsmeade. What an exhausting ride, no? Oh my god, it was a long Such game. a long... It was really long. It's like several hours. Such a long travel experience. But we finally have made it here. It was literally like a three minute ride from Universal Studios to Island of Adventure. So the cool thing is that it's an actual train. It is an actual train, yeah. You wanna go to Hogwarts? Let's go to Hogwarts. Let's go to Hogwarts. Here we are. Hogsmeade. Harry Potter Land. Harry Potter World. Hogwarts Express. Whoa! It's actually not as crowded as it usually is. Oh, butterbeer. You know we gotta do butterbeer. But yeah, it's not as crowded as um, I've seen in the past. But it's still a lot of people. And right here, just around the corner, we have Hogwarts. Look how majestic it looks. The camera does not do it any justice. Although the Hogwarts ride, the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, it does make me nauseous every time I do it. Does it really? Yeah. How long is the wait? Can you see it on there? Say 15 minutes? I can't believe that. And this is also one of those rides where you have to stow all of your backpacks and carry-ons. So this is gonna have to go into the locker again. We're about to enter 
the Hogwarts castle. Uh, here, put my glasses in there. So the locker station actually here is much easier because all you have to do is put a fingerprint. You don't need a ticket here. I feel like I'm underground under a church. Doesn't it feel like a church kind of? Yeah, it feels like catacombs. Like, yeah, like catacombs. <laughs> right, time to board the ride. A child swap? So if you don't like your child, you can change them? Yeah, anyway. Cool. Never fails. I feel quite nauseated from being in there. Do you feel nauseated? Uh-uh. No? I feel good. Uh, look at all the merch. Ravenclaw. Oh, this is cool. If I was a Slytherin, I totally would get this. You know what? I think it's that time. The time for some butterbeer. Yay, butterbeer. The most expensive drink I have ever, non-alcoholic drink I've ever had. Really? This is, oh, come on. Eight dollars and fifty cents. Eight dollars and fifty cents, folks. For a non-alcoholic drink. You are at a theme park. We went to the Harry Potter studio tour in London, and they had um, butterbeer. If you want to watch that video, we'll insert it up here. The one from actual London, from the Harry Potter studio tour in London, the, their butterbeer was not good at all. But it was a frozen. I actually had the ice cream, I think. Yeah, the ice cream, the ice cream. Ice cream was good, really yeah, good. for sure. But it is very delicious, though. In fact, my favorite part about the butterbeer is like the white goodness that's on top, like that foam. That's the best part. So we have exited the Harry Potter section of the park. Are you enjoying your butterbeer? Too much. Your butterbeer? I'm enjoying it so much that it's already down there. Yeah, it's almost done too. It's, we found a really cool spot here at the park. You can see the Hulk, you can see Doctor Doom's Fearfall, you can see like that Marvel land over there, Spider-Man. And over here you see Doctor Seuss land. Here we are gonna enter Seuss Landing. You totally feel like you're in like a Doctor Seuss book. It's pretty. It's aesthetically pleasing, very colorful. Look at the floors, buildings, everything's so colorful. Alright guys, we are gonna do the sneak ride. So we were just saying that the the wait the wait times are very underestimated. Supposedly it's a five minute wait, but really it's like a 25 minute wait. I'd say about 20 minutes. 20, yeah, for real. With a nice relaxing ride and you get some really awesome views of the park you do but that was really fast it was really fast it was like a three minute ride a 20 minute wait three minute ride but we loved it nonetheless so we found that disney always overestimates your wait time and universal always underestimates your wait time that has been my experience all right guys we just did the hulk we obviously couldn't film it because they make us put everything in the locker so we just got our stuff out of the locker it always gives us a headache right oh my god yes it's a fun ride, but it does give you a headache. Like, it's a little slight headache. Like, it's, it's, mine is gone by now, but at the, at the end, you would have a little headache. And it makes me kind of wobbly. I'm like, when I'm walking down, I'm kind of like, yeah. You're a little dizzy. Definitely. It is lunchtime. Just guess what I got. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to guess what I ordered. And if you guys guess chicken tenders, you guys were correct. What'd you get? Chicken burger. No, chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich with fries. Enjoy. We're back at King's Cross Station. If this is their slow season, I can't even imagine what their busy season is like. But anyways, we're back here at Universal Orlando. We have left Islands of Adventure. We're gonna go do some other rides that aren't Harry Potter stuff. All right, so which way? Fast and the Furious, I believe, is this way. Okay, so Fast and the Furious Supercharged is a fairly new ride here. We haven't done it yet. So here at Universal Studios, they have something called the Virtual Line for certain rides. It's kind of like a fast pass, I guess. But they asked me to have this out and ready. So I guess it's gonna get us to the front of the line a little faster, which is always good. And they also have single riders on this one. They do have single riders. We actually did single riders on the Hulk. We got on in like five minutes. Ooh. All right, so we're about to board the ride here at Fast and the Furious. We're not allowed to use um, cameras here, so I won't be able to show you guys the ride. Let's finish the ride. It was okay, it wasn't that great. It was alright. But I think this is where the old um, earthquake ride used to be, like back from like the 90s. 
earthquake used to be a thing in this building. You guys, we just got off of this ride, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. So you go up just like that. Watch the drop, watch the drop. Watch the drop. Oh God, there they go. Oh God, I'm scared for them. And then there they go. So, this little pirate right here, got some footage of that video of that ride for you. So, uh, my heart's still beating from that ride. Best ride ever still. If you ever come here, you gotta do that one. So fun, so fun. We'll insert the clip right here. Ice cream time, so we got our ice creams. Look how busy it is in here now compared to this morning when there was nobody here. No, no, it went quickly, it didn't go that long. Um, yeah, it went by pretty fast. What you guys don't know is that we've been trying to get on Hogsmeade on the Hagrid ride all day, but it's been down. First it was closed for a private event, then it was closed because of maintenance. But finally, we're gonna go on it. Well, that's... Well, let's see, let's hope. The bad news is that we can't bring cameras, so we're gonna have to put it into the lockers. How long of a wait is it? Can you see? Six, oh, it just, oh my god, look at it. It's going up like crazy. It's going up to 90 minutes. Uh, our single riders it is. A few moments later. We're not very happy right now. The ride is still working, but single riders is closed, express pass is closed, and it's a 90 minute wait, and we're not waiting 90 and minutes. it just opened, what, like 20 minutes ago? Yeah. We opened, so it took us, obviously, to get from one park to the other. It's kind of BS, you know? We waited all day, and then we finally possibly can get on it's an hour and a half maybe yeah and the closing the park early at six o'clock for a private event that we weren't aware of we had a good day otherwise well since we didn't have any luck with the Hagrid ride we came to the children's jungle gym and okay, it's not children's jungle gym it's also an adult jungle gym it's the children's jungle gym okay he wants to run through this and to see if the water gets him but no zigzagging buddy all right folks he's gonna do this he's gonna run through this which doesn't look dangerous. Go, go walk through it. No, I'm not gonna walk through well, it. Well, it's not going, and then when it comes, when it comes, you go. Why are you not going now? Because you're not going through it. Go walk. No, what if it really, like... No, no, it's coming. Oh. It's coming, go. I don't want it to get me. You got it? That's the whole point. You gotta get it at you. Oh, you got nothing. Oh. <laughs> and how was I didn't, it? I didn't want to get wet, and... I didn't really get wet. No, you I didn't. I was afraid that was going to shoot me like in the crotch. No, it's not going to be that bad. Watch. Here, I'll do it. I'll casually walk it. How about that? Okay, yeah, let's see. Rock. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Oh, <wow. laughs> oh, that was a good one. Well, there you go. You, that, like, that was like your splash. fourth time going through it. Look at your whole side. You're all oh, wet Oh, right man, that here. was a big splash. Well, there you go. You wanted to get wet today, so... Hello. Hey. Welcome home. Hello. To us. Hello. <coughs> Hello. I just woke up. You just woke up. <laughs> By the way, we forgot to tell you guys. Oh my god, we have so much to tell you. We actually ended up going on Hagrid's. So uh, good news. <laughs> that was actually good news. But it was still it was that 65 minute wait, but it was 45 minutes. Yeah, it ended up being like less than expected. So strike what I said earlier about Universal underestimating their wait times because. In this case, they were actually 45 minute wait, but it was a 65 minute listed wait time. So that's good. We ended up getting to do it. We ended up waiting in the regular line. Not the single rider. How long? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Oh, that it was for Hagrid's. Yeah, yeah, it was 65 so minutes. So good, listed. by the way. Oh so my god. It was worth it. Really? Definitely yeah. worth it, yeah. I put. I thought I had to put my camera inside of the locker. Yeah. And I left everything in the locker. I couldn't film anything, and I was so upset. But it was really good. But definitely worth the wait. This is the first time that we've been um, at a park all day. All day. I have to tell you, my dogs are barking right now. Yeah, mine too. Oh, they're hollering. I gotta take off my shoes. Like uh, so we're gonna go have dinner tonight at the rooftop bar. We're gonna try to do the rooftop bar. Hopefully the rooftop bar is open. We're gonna go do that. Um, it is approximately 7.15 p.m. But we are gonna try and rest our feet for a little bit. Oh my God. 
I'm tired. I just took my shoes off and I think my feet are swollen. Yeah, you have a hole in your stock. I know. It, it ate through. Okay, yeah. walking. Ready for some drinks and dinner? Yes. All right, let's do it. The plan for this evening is a drink at Sapphire Falls, and then we're gonna go to the rooftop. Yeah, no, we're definitely going on the rooftop this time. And I already scoped out the scaffolding on the side of the building, so if we have to climb up to the top, mom is ready. Back at the Aventura Hotel, let's see. We're going around the corner. Oh, and it looks like it's open. There's no sign. Thank you, baby Jesus. Bar 17, express elevator. Vent where? Oh, it's right there for us. 17th floor, please. Oh, We're here. Wow. Wow. Cute. Wow. Oh, no, drop. Oh, is Last it? time we came, it wasn't very busy. Yeah, is there going to be a table for us? Oh, look, there should be tables over there. Have you been to that rooftop bar in LA? LA? Yeah, it's like a really famous rooftop bar in LA. I feel like there's like tons of The Rose Belt? All right, guys, we are at the rooftop bar, finally. So we got some wine. I got a cocktail. And then we got some fries. We got some more food on the way. We have some bao buns, we got a beet salad, we have lots of things coming. We'll be sure to show it to you when it arrives. For now, check out this ambiance of uh, the rooftop. Really pretty, really nice. <laughs> Shall we do a cheers, gentlemen? Let's do it, ladies. Be careful with mine, because mine is very, very full. Cheers. Wow, that's really nice. And just like I promised, more food here for you guys. So we have a fried rice. Fried rice. We have some Korean barbecue chicken wings over here. We have some bao buns. <laughs> Each of them are different. They're all different bao buns. And we're all good. Enjoy your food, everybody. These fries are fire. My little baby brother. I'm so down for this bag. All right, we are done with the rooftop bar. How was your experience? Amazing. Amazing? Let's look at some of the views really quick before we leave. So we have a view of I Drive out there, and you can see all the cool, colorful lights out there. We have downtown Orlando over there. Oh, and they're leaving me. Jerks. And we are back in our hotel room. Yes. What a long day. Super long day, yeah. We finally got our rooftop access. Hey, we really enjoyed it. Everything was great. Rooftop bar was great. You I'm, yeah, exactly. I was about to say, I'm so happy we finally got access to the rooftop bar. I did not have to hit anyone. Yes. Yeah, so that's good. Um, <laughs> that yeah, really it was so good. good. But to be honest with you, we both thought, I think we all agree that, um, what is it? Strong water? Strong water, the one we went to yesterday. A little bit better. On the last vlog. Yeah. It was slightly better. I think the view does it though. I yeah, the view does. The it. view is amazing. The view does it. Yeah. The, the food in Strong Water was really good though. Yeah, so, but exactly. They're both. They're really good. Hey, if you're yeah. here. Enjoy them both. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, leave it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. Come on, yes. seriously, it's just one click. It helps. It's, and it does help. It's one click. Come on. Subscribe <laughs> down below. Leave us a comment. Yeah, leave me a comment because I like. This. If you want him to make a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Let us know. And also leave a comment about me, because that's the only way I'll watch this video if Francesco posts it is if it's about if me. I tell him <laughs> people, if I tell him people are commenting about you. Then I watch it. So true. <laughs>